Hey guys, this is Caesar. I'm at Lone Wolf Paintball and I'm going to show you guys some general maintenance on your autococker. If you guys had the gun sitting for a while and you want to check it, make sure you, first of all, you guys pull your bolt out, you lube the bolt, lightly oil on the Teflon. If you have O-ring, same thing. Get yourself some vitamin O, you put it on here and you rub it with your fingers. Don't put on too much. I would recommend that you completely lightly oil it. That's all you have to do. And when you put it back in, make sure that it is facing down if you have a single hole bolt. And then if you want to oil your gun ever, I do not recommend running oil through the bottom line going in through your regulator. I recommend you taking off the regulator, unscrewing it, putting your oil in the bottom of your vertical bottle adapter, screwing on your vertical bottle back on or your regs. So what we're doing is, and anytime you want to oil the gun, you want to make sure that you take out the cocking rod, allowing the gun to cycle, allowing the pneumatics to physically oil the front end and not firing the oil down the barrel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the cocking rod. I oiled it in through the vertical bottle adapter. So you run your oil through it, through the vertical bottle adapter. So now you're allowing the gun to cycle without firing. First fire is okay. But now what you're doing is you're allowing all the oil that you placed in your vertical bottle adapter to go through your three-way and into the ram. If it gets a little bit of oil in here, it's fine because it's going to lubricate the front piston, allowing it to cycle properly. So back and forth two times. Well, after you put your cocking rod back on, then you'll be able to fire all the excess oil out, allowing it to go into a paper towel or a rag. You don't want to go down your barrel, otherwise you will have no accuracy. So roughly how many drops of oil did you put in the... Uh... Actually, on this one here, I did, you, what you want to do is you want to put at least three to four drops. I didn't put any drops in here, but that's where you would put it into it. Okay. So... And then is there anything we should avoid, like WD-40? Yes, uh... you don't want to use any of that stuff. What I do recommend is using the Exalt Vitamin O. It's really good. It's like a, a high-grade sewing machine oil. It's really thin. It's a great lubricant. And anytime you discharge your gun and you want to take the tank off, unscrew it. If you don't have an on off, unscrew it while you're firing. And this way you don't have any back pressure. And that's what you do to, you know, before you play and after you play. It keeps your gun well maintained. You get no o ring dry rot and everything's well lubricated. How long should a set of o rings last in different areas? And is there anything that wears out faster than others? Um, as long as it's well maintained and you're properly using it once or twice you know a month the o-ring should last a long time um the ones that are going to wear out the most are obviously in your three-way and in your ram everything else should be you know cycling fine but from my experience i've never seen any o-rings go bad you know within a few years all right guys after you got your gun already tuned in and checked out you want to make sure your velocity is checking and you want to make sure you put some paint through it have the right fitting uh, bore size in your freak, matching your paint. Get your velocity check for 275, which I did already inside. Then I'm going to come back outside and check it for, and shoot it. And uh, of course, if you need oil O rings, you can reach out to us at lonewolfpaintball.com. Uh, some of it's in the online store. You might have to call the pro shop. And where do people go if they need maintenance on their auto copy? If you guys want to get your gun maintained, look us up here at Lone Wolf. Go to Lone Wolf Paintball. Come to the store. Talk to uh, myself or Tony. More, You'll be talking to Tony, more or less. I'm only in here on Saturdays. Cool. And, of course, don't forget your beef jerky. And thanks, Caesar, for this little maintenance tip. Thanks, guys.